My name is Becca. I am a senior representing Gretna High School. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Um, uh, this one's for Andrew. You never understood poetry. I couldn't explain it to you in words you'd understand, so I let you complain. You'd say, math makes sense. Math has an answer that you circle at the bottom of the page, and it's right or it's wrong. There's no right or wrong in poetry. I agreed. I said that was what made poetry so beautiful, the absence of error. You wouldn't listen. In elementary school, we had room to be stupid, to waste time and make mistakes and forget to do our homework, but you were never stupid. Neither was I. That earned us badges of honor that made it look like targets in our classroom's eyes. It didn't matter, we had each other. The girl who could spin stories like thread and the boy who found algebra in the constellations. You said that you were going to change the world and I believed you because you always lived like you were on the verge of something amazing. When you move in the fifth grade, there's no such thing as staying in touch. We fell out of it and into other things, other friends, other worlds. I wonder if you ever thought of me, because I certainly thought of you. I knew with conviction, with unfailing confidence, that you were going to change the world, and you were, and you would have. One day, I start getting texts. They say, did you see? They say, have you heard? They say, did you know? He died in his sleep. There was no warning. There was nothing we could have done. Your words were anesthesia, numbing me until nothing felt real, nothing felt right. What does that mean? There was nothing you could have done. You were 17 years old, and Andrew, you were going to do so much more. I did, couldn't go to your funeral. I didn't think I had the right. Who was I to say that I knew you? Who was I to claim any kind of ownership over your memory? The girl from fifth grade isn't here anymore. We grew up, Andrew, we changed. And maybe you still found equations in the stars, but I wasn't there to see it. Now the numbness is gone and I'm just angry. I'm angry that everything about you will always be in the past tense, always in hypotheticals, who you might have been, what you might have done. I'm angry because you were meant for bigger things, better things than me, but I'm the one who's still here. No matter how hard I try, I can't make sense out of anything. I can't find your numbers anywhere. You never understood writing. I couldn't explain it to you in words you'd understand, so instead I wrote for you. You'd always claim you never got it, but you'd still put it in your backpack. You'd smile. See, you were writing equations and I was writing words, but we were both writing poetry. <laughs> 